now tuned into Bars and Hoops Radio. Where the world of hip-hop and sports live. One thing that I learned about this game is that you can't skip the grind. You know what I mean? There's no off-seasons. There's no days on. You can't skip leg day. You can't skip arms. You can't skip chest. No off season, it's no season, we taking off 3D, it seals the great, we cut from a different cloth. The mother podcast, they clearly be taking shorts. We got it all covered, I'm talking music and sports. Prussian competitors, this not your regular late to 10 on Friday night, it's nothing out there sounding better, bruh. So take a seat, we kicking ass and taking names, download the app for bars and hoops, we taking over the game. You're now tuned in to bars and hoops radio. Sports live. Hey, hey, we're the world of hip hop and sports live. Stills the great Tiff Sosa, 3D, DJ JOJ on the ones and twos. No off season every Friday, 8 to 10. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We back at it again, my people. What's good? What's good? What's good, man? Ain't nothing, man. Where it up, man? You know, you know, another Friday. It ain't it just it ain't just an ordinary Friday. You know what I'm saying? It's a birthday today in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Where it up, man? Shout out to my guy 3D, man. He's unmatched. Happy boy day. <laughs> Fresh off the sidelines. Yes, sir. Word. Looking like a city slicker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word up, man. Happy born day, my guy. Word up, man. Thank, I'm happy that you even came early. You, we thought you was coming in the second hour. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, man. Uh, Word man. up. The game ended, you know, <laughs> abruptly. <laughs> Shellacking. You know what I mean? You know, uh, that's my old alma mater. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It ended, ended a little bit abruptly, but it worked out for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> worked out for me. I was able to get here to, you know, make it to the show, enjoy, you know, my time here, kick it with y'all on my B day. No you know question. What I'm saying? So, no question. Still got me working on my birthday. Hey, shit. man. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? It's no off season. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, know what I mean? So, I couldn't, you know, couldn't come up with the name no off season. I'm taking the time off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about that's what it's about, man. Consistency wins, man. That's a fact. Word up, man. Word up. But before we do all that, man, how was everybody week, man, heading into today? So so you know, ladies is always first around these parts, you know? I think we're gonna skip me. You're gonna skip you? Yeah, let's skip me. What? Kind of had a rough week. Don't really want to get into it. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta respect the privacy, man. Yeah. Well, three. We already heard how you. How no, you, I mean I my week. Say, my... Will, sorry, I will say it's getting better day by day. We'll say that. That's a fact. Okay. That's I mean, a my week. Fact. My week was we marvelous. Today. My week been marvelous. Talk about it. Um, just anticipating the you know celebrating of a birthday. I always say that you know if you, the, I love birthdays more than any other holiday. That not for just myself or any individual. Just because. If you're blessed enough, you'll be able to celebrate a lot of them. So, you know what I mean? That's always cool. Not that I want anything or, you know what I'm saying? I'm thrilled to have a big party or anything. Just being able to say, you know what I'm saying? I made it to see another year. You know what I mean? Thinking about friends that I've lost, family members that I've lost, and think about my age. I'm like, damn, my man, you know, this person died, damn, 20 years ago, 15 years ago. And I'm still here able to get up and, you know, do what I do. And most of what I'm doing is like, thriving in my passion you know what i'm saying i try no to just question. go do things that i'm passionate about and i would advise anyone like don't just be out here just living you know what i'm saying like live life like do stuff that you're very passionate about and um if you can and you're in a position to like pay it forward and look out for others who are less fortunate than you that's a fact man shout out to my brother address Am- ammo man all the way from chicago he said happy born day you know what i'm saying appreciate that word up man J-O-J. Peace, almighty. Peace, almighty. I'm going to add on to that, man. Let's when go. you love what you do, it's not a job, man. No. You, you, you do what you got to do, man. My week has been superb, man. Like, I'm, I'm in this financial class, you know what I'm saying? And, like, last year, I didn't file. You know what I'm saying? Like, I waited too late. I wasn't on my, oh my A game. You know what I'm saying? Because oh in the January, you got to file certain papers. Oh, boy. certain tax forms, you know what I'm saying, to get things popping, you know what I mean? So this year, I didn't get all the tax forms that I wanted, but the two major ones I got out, and I'm going to see what the response is. And if I get a good response, I'm going to tell you something, man. It's on and popping. Let's in go, bars, Jay. In hoops land, hey. in my land, everyone's around me <laughs> east. Let's go, man. <laughs> Next week, we Jay doing it up like three. Oprah. Next week, we doing it up three, man. We going to be in that, what is it, the prom? It's Uh-oh. a prom thingy. What's it called? Black tie affair. I don't and? know. 
it's going down next week, man, at, at a location. It's not a secret location, man. You got to be on it to end it to win dress, it, man. Dress up, dress up affair. Dress you know up, what I mean? Yeah. They call it the adult prom, but adult it ain't prom. really, you know, it, it's no date involved. It's just, you know, grown people getting there, you know, get putting on their, you know, they hard bottoms and they best threads and coming out and, you know, having a good time. Um, Open bar, buffet, all that. So we should we should be it should be a good time, man. It should be a good time. You should you fit right in three. That's hey. that's your that's your hey, thing. Man. You know what I mean? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, than that man, it's superb, man. Keeping the energy up, man. What about you, still, man? Talk about it, man. Hey, man. You know it's never a dull moment in my land, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a unique job where I reach a lot of people throughout the week, man. And I found out, man. And I'm gonna be quite frank and I'm gonna be honest because they don't give a fuck. Pause. Yeah, pause. All I just said is I don't give a. Nah, you said I'd be quite. Oh, <laughs> that part. That part. Up. But, but yeah, man. You know, you know, I do what I do, and I can do. I, I, I do a very good job at what I do, and to do what I do, you got to be a relatable people's person, and you know, everybody ain't that. And, you know, people tend to hate because they can't move and shake like you. Like how I come here is how I go to work, and people appreciate that because they like, damn, this is relatable. I see you coming yo, it's Russian. No, it's just, like people can relate to you. And then when I talk to them and spit my shit, they're like, oh nah, and this nigga know what he's talking about. So, you know, a lot of people ride for me, man. And I just found out like I'm supposed to be bought part of a team, but the team ain't for me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's a bunch of daggers being thrown, swords and shit like that. So I had to deal with type like, shit like that throughout this whole week, man. It was good. It had me down a little bit. I was a little disappointed, but you know what I mean? The sun always shines, man. At the end of the day, I woke up today, so I had to kind of brush that off and just learn how to maneuver and really realize that everybody's never going to be happy for you, no matter, you know, how good of a person you are. You know what I mean? For every one person that loves you, man, it's always somebody that's going to probably hate you because those people love you. You know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to y'all, man. Word up. But um, other than that, man, you know, um, Station life is good. We got a couple new shows possibly coming in in the, in the next few coming weeks. Some shows returning that took a little hiatus. Okay. Some new shows coming in. You know, when people come up in here, they see how clean it is. They like, oh, yo, hold on. I got a podcast. I, I, how much is the rent the space? So, you know, a lot of good business coming our way in the new year already, man. So, you know, it's a good thing. And, and I'm hyped because tomorrow I'm going to be at the Garden. For you the at the Garden this week, too? I was at the garden this week too. Um, well, no, 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 no. I wasn't there for the last two ass whoopers. I ain't, and I missed Thursday night's game. It was a great game. That was a good game. Yeah, you know I thought saying? you was there for that one. No, nah, I, I wasn't there for that okay. one. I'm gonna be there for the next one when they come back to town, man. Okay. Shout out to Obi Chopper, man. Shout out to Obi came to town the other day, man. They took an out. The garden was rocking, but we're gonna get to that a little bit later in the show, man. But I'm really hyped about tomorrow. You know what I mean? I'm really hyped that my team is doing well, even though three be hating all the time. Boy, I can't. I can't celebrate my team at all. No, no, no. I don't be hating. Three be, hate, three nah. be gunning for me. Nah, Boy, yeah, he be I, like the Knicks. I be trolling. Oh. Like I troll. I, tro- <laughs> I troll Knicks fans. I don't be hating, man. I like. I can't be. A, I can't be a, a real call myself a basketball person and not go. acknowledge what they've been, what they've been able to do. Like that's, that's a man. very solid. You know, what I mean, they remind me of them. You know, them, them '90s Knicks that just play with a lot of force and play defense and. They just don't have the star in the Patrick Union, but Union, like, but they got it in the form of Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle being that one-two punch. And the guys around them, they yeah. complement them well. So the guys it. around them, they defend, they rebound, they scrap, they play hard. So I'm not blind. I know what I'm looking at. They got a very solid team. I just think they they are possibly like one guy away, and it doesn't even have to be a superstar. It just has to be a guy that, you know, he can be a superstar on any given night. Yeah, nah, you know what? And, and, and I love the fact that three broke it down so eloquently because I couldn't even I couldn't even do better than that. But I am gonna say that I'm happy that we got two all stars this year, not just one. We got two deservingly. Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson are both all stars. Jalen Brunson for the first time. Julius Randle it's his third time as an NBA All Star, all with the Knicks. You know what I mean? We we we're riding a. A nine-game winning streak, hottest team in the league. Um, like we said, we got a bunch of role players, guys that scrap. We got guys that can actually shoot the ball now. You know what I mean? Um, like he said, a, a budding star and Jalen Brunson, you know, he's coming into his own. And, you know, in the beginning of the year, y'all, y'all used to hear me kill him 
every week here. Like, yo, he shoots too much. He's not getting his guys involved. But, you know, they're winning. So I can't even complain no more. As long as they winning, I can't say anything. If they was losing and he was chucking, then I'll have to eat that. But the thing is, when we were saying that – um. He wasn't really being a facilitator and he was shooting a lot of shots and things of that nature. They now have the players around him that compliments him. They the guys that were already there it's conform old. to his game. It's and the guys concept. that they brought in adjust already DiVincenzo played with him in college. You get what I'm saying? So Absolutely. they bring over OG, they bring over different guys. It's like Jalen don't have to change who Jalen is in order for those guys to be for him to be great or for those guys to coexist with him. So it ain't like he's taken away from somebody because he has the ball. Those guys are on cue when they're ready for him to get the ball, and he's doing a great job of being a leader. He, you know what I mean, he sets the tone when the team needs a big shot. He takes the big shot. He makes plays. Like, he's just a solid player. And I always tell people that. It's like, oh, you don't like Jalen Brunson had been that way since college. Like, he's just a solid player. Like, he's going to help you impact wins. The reason I said the reason I said I didn't think he got snuffed for the All Star vote was because, and Gilbert Arenas echoed the exact same thing I said Gilbert three said, days Gilbert later, hates. where he was saying that you know it's fan voting like the All Star historically has always been for the fan voting, and I agree with him that I don't like that they changed it like because now, the people of yesteryear they depended on fan voting. Now we changing history that was documented already. So now you got guys making it because the media voted them in or the players voted them in. But if you go back, Sean Kemp, Michael Jordan, these guys, it was all fan voting. So now, so what are we saying? We might have to take away some of those guys who made it off of just fan voting because they were popular when they probably didn't deserve it. That's a fact. You get what I'm saying? But fact. however, I just think that Jalen Brunson is a, if you, if somebody asked me to describe Jalen Brunson, first thing, all I'm going to say is winner and walk off. No question. That's what he is question no question and the knicks better back the truck up oh they that that's without a doubt they done that's the thing they done did everything to appease him like you said they got two of his college teammates well actually three ryan uh hart and um di vincenzo they all played with him at uh villanova, villanova. so you know it's just like and that shows that chemistry is everything it ain't always about talent if guys got a great chemistry and they play hard together what they say what's the saying three hard work beats talent any day when talent doesn't work hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard also you eliminate you eliminate the ego facts because if this is my guy and it's been my guy i have no reservations or ego with him being the man because Jalen was the man and on that villanova team he led them in scoring he was you know i mean he was the guy and that's a team with three other pros no question. But he would just happen to be a smaller guy, a short guy. So that's why he fell to the second round. But look what he's doing now. He he's been an all-star. Mikel Bridges hasn't even been an all-star, but we know Mikel Bridges' potential. We see what Devin Chinzo's doing. But out of those that Villanova pack, uh -huh. Jalen Brunson became the star out of that pack. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. For real, man. So look, Bridges didn't make it to the second team. I thought he made it. Uh the reserves? The reserves, yeah. No sight. No sight for God? Okay. No sight. Word. I thought somebody for the Nets would be there. Nah, ain't nobody from there. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> While we on the side, can we all, all we gonna do is down the line. Are we gonna go ahead, uh, let's go predict the injury replacements? There's gonna be two injury replacements for the East All Stars. Let's talk about it. Um, I had a pool that you know everybody put in fifty dollars, and we oh, we uh, gambled on that. Yeah, we bet on the reserves, and I was seven for seven in the East. The the pick I picked that nobody picked was. Paolo Bancaro. I, I felt that he was having an all-star. Yeah, I thought he, he was going to make it. And I've always noticed that they would, they'll always put a budding young star on the team. If like, if he's on the fence of making it because they know he's the next. So he'll probably be playing in the rising stars game. And the, well, he will be playing in both. Really I don't know if he declined to play in the rising stars, but he definitely made the uh, all-star game out in the, uh, the Eastern conference without being a replacement. Like he made it outright. So, the names I think Trey Young deserves one of those spots. Yeah, you're right. You know what? I, 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 and Trey Young, Trey Young, I could definitely say. But is there any room for him as a guard? I think the replace. That's what I'm saying. If the replacements have to be by position, which I'm not sure they have to, because Embiid maybe because he was a starter. Mm -hmm. Randall not so much because he was a reserve. Yes. So I think I'm thinking that. 
uh and B's replacement might be I don't know a Jared Allen well, hold on three so let's back up for a second Van Cairo did make it as a reserve no he made it out as a reserve he I'm saying he didn't I'm saying it wasn't it wasn't um like a replacement okay okay like okay. he made the team outright as yeah, a reserve yeah. versus he didn't make it and then they chose him because Randall was hurt yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm saying he made it outright yeah. but some people wasn't sure if he would so what I'm saying is we have a starter in Embiid who has needs a replacement and we need a, a reserve for Randall who's going to be out. Now what I'm what I'm trying to figure out is well they just bump somebody up in Embiid's spot that was close to being a starter. That's already on the team like say a Jalen Brown or somebody. Yeah, but it's you still got to fill that spot. No, you can still fill a spot as a reserve but it might not have Ooh. to be by position. And it's like, damn, man. Look because I, I do think that Trey Young deserves to be a, an all star. Yeah, I think Trey Young. Motherfucker is average 27 and 11. You should be an all star. No, he's going to make the team. I think Trey Young is going to make the team. I, I have no doubt he's going to make the team. But yeah, I'm looking at the lineup now. It's like, who do you replace Joel Embiid with as far as the center is in the East? Like, front court, front court. We that uh, yeah, eliminated like, center. Who, uh, you know what I mean? That's who what I'm saying. Replace? Jared Allen may get the nod. That's right. Jared Allen from Cleveland. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. That's a fact. Word, man. Um, so what y'all what y'all think about all these LeBron rumors, man? You know, now everybody wanna link LeBron to New York. I heard Rich Paul came out today and tried to dead everything. I don't know if they just trying to cool down the fire. But our Knicks fans gotta relax. I, 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 don't, I didn't say I want him. I didn't say I want him. <laughs> but guys, guys, he said we no, gotta relax. That he going yeah, y'all Knicks fans Knicks. gotta relax. Rumors, that's, LeBron, listen. The Lakers are not trading. Le the Lakers are not trading LeBron James, man. The only way LeBron James gets traded is if he forces his out trade. You know what I'm saying? And three, three. Let me tell you, man. What happened? These Knicks fans, every, every, everybody that's free agent or getting close to getting signed, he's coming to the Knicks. Come on over here. Sign him up, right? Sign him right up. Super team. You heard it right. You got mad excited, like yeah. I ain't got him. excited at all. <laughs> I'm just throwing out what everybody's saying makes sense. Because we all know that the NBA. What are y'all giving up for LeBron James? I mean, right now the Lakers need help. Yeah, they need they, picks. They're not have, gonna take Julius. Y'all don't have Randall. nothing that they. What do you mean? Y'all don't have nothing that they draft they, picks. We got picks. The Lakers not into that. That's not what they do. They into losing right now. But so that, what are we but if about? we know them historically, that's not what they into. They not into giving you players for draft compensation. They used to, we'll give you draft compensation, and we need a player. But three, they're losing. They have AD. I hear, and they what, have I hear what you're saying, but it ain't like y'all got a ain't budding a young star. Y'all got Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. Y'all not giving up <laughs> neither one of them. Y'all not giving up neither one of them, and if it's no dice, like. No if the Lakers were to if the, yeah, LeBron. if the Lakers were to trade LeBron James, they're gonna trade him to some a team where they like okay, LeBron could still go here and potentially win, and we gonna get an a, a all star and replacement like with the Celtics trade with the Celtics trade Jalen Brunson I mean Jalen Brown for LeBron James right now. Of course not. That's the that's an unfair that's an uneven trade. The reason they might is because they might Why? want they might want to get off that contract and LeBron James could. I have to agree. I have to disagree with you. Okay, right? I LeBron said they might. 99. I hear what you're saying, but LeBron only has a year, so it's like we can always retool around Jason Tatum and the rest of the bunch. I'm not saying that. I just threw that out hypothetically speaking. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, how much do you think a team would give for LeBron James right now at 39 years old? This is what I'm saying. They they'll be happy with some draft compensation. But y'all don't have nothing what sexy. We, what you mean? <laughs> we got a bunch of picks. Picks ain't picks. sexy, bro. What you mean? It's not sexy. It's not well, sexy. That's clearly going into the rebuild. It's not sexy to the Lakers, bro. They gonna give it an AD as well because we know street clothes don't stay healthy. Right now, it's broken in LA. They just got LeBron there to fill the seats and keep people coming there. They losing right now. He's unhappy. No, I but, mean what what I've been telling people for the longest, and y'all been gonna pay attention after the fact, which go. people always do when I be talking. They let's go. go. They want to listen to the pundits on yeah, TV. I'm so, so he talking. Let's go. LeBron, LeBron is gonna. LeBron can opt out. 
yeah. of his contract. Absolutely. And be a free agent because okay. he's only signing that one plus one deal where uh -huh. he's locked in for that one year and that second year is an option. So what a lot of people is not taking into account is that the Philadelphia 76ers will only have one player under contract after the season is over. One player is under contract. Joel and B. We already know they're going to max out Tyrese Maxey. So they will have enough money to sign Maxey and another star player. That star player, you think LeBron James wouldn't think about finishing his career playing alongside Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey <laughs> in the Eastern Conference? Yeah, let me say something, man. And, and, and this is why I felt like, you know, even though it's cool to throw the LeBron rumors around in New York, LeBron needs the ball in his hand. He's always played that way. He needs the balls and ball in his. Oh, I was about to say something. Yikes! Boys, boys yeah. and you already <laughs> said it, brother. Word. He needs the basketball in his hands to be effective. You know what I mean? This is why D'Angelo Russell took so long to come into his own in LA. Coming to his own. Yeah. At, when has he come into his own? Huh? He's, when does he come into his own? What you mean? Own? He's been playing well lately. Because listen, this is the difference. D'Angelo Russell has a methodical, slow game where he needs the ball. He's it's, The ball is not popping when it's with D'Lo. He has a slow, methodical game. Now, I know what you're thinking. You were going you were going to try to run the Tyrese Maxey angle on me. Playing with LeBron. You know. Tyrese Maxey already played alongside a ball-dominant player. So, so like, keep talking about this. God yeah, yeah. Back. Tyrese Maxey already played alongside a ball-dominant player, and he was still successful in that role. He played Harden? with James Harden and Joel. So now that's almost like LeBron was able to make it with D Wade because Wade relinquished some of his game and LeBron relinquished a little bit of his game. Now at age 39, LeBron can lean on those two guys. So he don't have to be 27, 7, and 7 LeBron. He could be 29 and 7 LeBron. 29? 20 points. Nine oh, rebounds, okay, okay, seven okay, assists, okay, or okay, either way okay. you want to flip the assist okay, or the okay, rebound. Okay, okay, we okay. know Joel is a walking 30 piece, and Tyrese Max is getting anywhere from 20 to 25 a game. We don't know. So you tell me if LeBron went to Philly, and if LeBron signed with Philly this summer, they wouldn't label LeBron and B and Maxi a big three. They would. Anywhere Absolutely. LeBron goes, they're gonna they and gonna that's what I'm saying. But but yeah. the way to collect the bond agreement is now you will have guys going over there to play with those guys just so they can win a title and then get their money. A guy like a Bruce Brown who won a chip, and that's how he got his money. He wouldn't have got his money just straight up off the market that's because exactly. he won that title with Denver. That's why he got paid. What has Bruce Brown been doing this season? Please, somebody enlighten me. Not a me. lot. Not a lot. He want to come to New York too. Her Sosa looked like she was upset. Oh, I was about to say you. I was about to say Sosa was like, well, wow. oh, yeah, Bruce Brown. You know, yeah, Bruce Brown want to come to New York bad. He want to get out of Toronto, but we all understand, man. When the team is smoking, everybody want to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, to God, I don't care whether or not they go after LeBron or not. I don't think that he's going to – I think that he'll hurt the team chemistry more than help it because they're going to be wanting to defer to him. And I think that Jalen Brunson right now, the reason why he left Dallas is because he didn't want to be in Luka Doncic's shadow anymore. And wow. look, at what it look at what happened now. He's now – a star of this team. Julius Randle had to eat it. Like, nah, this thing is He nice. wanted to stay. They just ain't want to give him his bread. They, you think uh, that he would, would Dal flourish? Dallas undervalue him. I, yes, I think, listen, he's playing with Kyrie right now. You get what I'm saying? So Jalen Brunson still would have been able to eat in Dallas. You get what I'm saying? He would have been able, because he's not a prototypical point guard. He's just a, a guard. So you put him on a court, he's still going to be the same guy. Yeah, he's a shooter. Yeah, he's going to be the shooter. same guy. So, I mean, you telling me that they're going to extend Kyrie now because Kyrie is Kyrie. They got no choice. Exactly. But what I'm saying is absolutely Jalen Brunson would have been able to coexist with Luka Doncic. Absolutely. Well, it remains they didn't, they, it was their mistake. They undervalued that man, and they're, they're paying the price for it. They got Kyrie. I don't think that Luka and Kyrie is better than Brunson and, and Luka. I just don't. No, nah, it's not. It's not. But Kyrie plays when he wants to play, man. That's still my guy, man. You know, it's your guy, right, Jay? You still got that Kyrie? Yeah, man. I, I'm, I'm being very quiet over here. I'm about to get me started, you. man. I see you over there. Because I disagree with that, man. What? I mean, Irvin is all they need. You know what I'm saying? I think oh, they need who needs? Den Denver. 
I think they just that, need them or Dallas? Oh, Dallas. Sorry, sorry, Dallas. Uh, I just think they mean um yeah. Still no there. drinks over there. Today, <laughs> man. I had to clean. They up need mess over they there. need more players, man. I think they need more players opposite of of what they got. You know the guard situation. They are right to me. You know what I mean. I don't think. I don't think Irvin is a. So you like the Kyrie Luca Matt the, the, the Kyrie Luca pairing was seventy three though. No Luca Luca. I mean, it's just the way Luca play. Luca's trying to be like LeBron anyway. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel. I feel Luca's y'all playing. y'all over y'all over. Luca's a bad motherfucker. Let me let me put that disclaimer out there before I say what I'm going to say. Luca is a bad fucking man. Luca's a bad boy. Seventy three. So he can't, he can't I don't win. Think, I don't think. Kyrie. I don't think. I don't think that Luca can win playing this style of basketball that he wants to play the same way that lebron went back to cleveland and because he had a young Kyrie and a kevin love he was able to win a title because he had two other perennial all-stars so luca can't be the your primary decision maker ball handler scorer it can't be all everything luca and win because he's not that formidable on the other end of the court he's not super athletic he's not super uh imposing speed wise he plays at his own pace when you look up he's gonna have his 30 10 and 10 or 39 and 9 he's gonna get his numbers however does that impact winning four rounds straight in the playoffs wow. i don't see it it, it remains but, to be seen but he's not getting to me he's he's the great player like how you said but he's not distributing the ball like that i mean he average, i think for his in, career he involved. averaged about eight or nine dollars maybe yeah. and he should be yeah, he averaging does. more than that not, it should be like 2020 is he average, is, he's, he's almost nice like that triple double. Nah. see the thing is and, and i this was my thing with Kyrie, and this I, I get what joj saying because i felt this way about Kyrie for a long time i think luca and i think luca gets assists because it's a byproduct of him always having the ball so it, of, of course you're going to get assists at some point. You have yeah. to pass at some point. But my thing is, his assists and Steve Nash, Chris Paul, and John Stockton's assists is way different. They were elevating, so they were making marginal players the game easier right. for yeah. those guys. Right. So don't I, do that. my thing with, with Kyrie always was, I thought Kyrie was too great skill-wise individually that he should be able to elevate everybody around him. But he doesn't see the game through that lens. Kyrie sees the game through the lens that Kobe saw it through. So if Kyrie was 6'6", he would be like a Kobe light type guy, but with an iller handle because that's how his game is. Like he'll mid post guards, he'll ISO you. He could shoot it with the left or the right, yeah. all the trick shots, the three ball, yeah, he's but he's 6'3", six, he's 6'2". Six, yeah, he's different. You get what I'm saying? So guy. he needs, I always thought that he should be able to average 25 and nine at the, with, without, without sweating because he's that good. Nah, that's a fact, man. I mean, it's going to be interesting the second half of the year, man. I'm, I, I can't wait to that Dallas game. You know what I mean? A couple of weeks, man. Knicks play Dallas. I'll be there front and center to watch that one. Oh, too, yeah. And then he come to the uh, to the Nets, and I will be there. Shut up, I will be Jay, there, Jay. too, man. We Shut got up. we got, we got Golden State. Shoes. We got Golden State Monday coming up, right? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But, yeah, it's, uh, one of them is. I believe so. Golden State Monday. I forgot who we play in Tuesday. Shout out and then Jay. Saturday, who we got again? Let me Shout look at my schedule. Same old Jay going there to watch them Nets lose. But hey, man, <laughs> he watched the other team as best players coming. Yeah, that's light that, up. Brooklyn. That's that's what it is, and, man. That's what it is. I love I love watching so, the game. Man. So so okay. let's 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 skip to another part of this uh opening segment of these opening topics, man. Sosa, mm -hmm. tell us what the hell is really going on. With this whole Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion thing. Where did this come from? Why are they actually beefing? And is this good for hip hop? Like mm -hmm. watching two female artists and MCs go at it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Talk it's, about it's it. It's always good for hip hop. That, Let's go. That's a fact. It's entertaining. It's, you know, it gives it. I can't say Jay Z and Nas. I can't, uh -oh. I can't say that. Why but, not? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. But <laughs> but it's definitely entertaining and good for hip hop. Um So what's going on? How did this whole thing start? As far as I know, Megan put out a song where she's apparently fed up with everyone talking about her being fake, whatever the case, you know, 
Oh, because of Tory Lanez? That and I guess other things too. Tory was knocking you know, that out. Allegedly. You know, whatever. <laughs> so she decided to let it out on, and she made a track called Hiss. And on this track, she's basically spilling her guts about how she feels about everybody. And she made a reference to um, Nikki's husband. Well, of oh. course, everyone knew who she was talking about when she m- said a line that Nikki wasn't mad at her. She's mad at Megan's law. You know what that is, right? For the new, for the viewers out there that don't know, break it down. So, um, Megan's law, it started over a little girl who was raped and killed. Uh-oh. And they created a law where any sex offenders has to register. Um, oh, You know, that's how that whole thing started. Where, you know, sex offenders have to register when they get out or whenever they catch those Uh-oh. kind of cases, they have to register. So, basically, you know her husband had those uh, alleged you know accusations that he raped someone Damn, so, if so I open up that app. it was a shot at her and you know nikki decided to go ahead and Is the come phone back going off cuz she's going too far <laughs> <laughs> the barbs You're are going too far the barbs are going too far relax barbs so <laughs> relax <laughs> so um yeah so Nikki made a song basically Nikki made yeah she made a song basically coming back at Megan and it's called Bigfoot. And so which one we play in first? I want I want to go with his first since yeah. that's supposed to be Nikki is supposed to be responding so I want to go with his first. I've never heard and, any of these. Um see what y'all think. I JLJ, know what I think but I'm going to see what y'all think. JLJ you got these over there? I think so. Yeah, I think You so. sure? Yeah. You think so? You know so. I think I'm ready. You the DJ in the building. We, you ready? We not on unprofessionals. We, we, oh, got, we got to be professionals no, today. Hey, man. No shots <laughs> fired. Oh, God, man. Zod tips, you know we No running, shots man. fired. The DJ over here taking See, shots look, we can't even ride with him because he be with them, too. And so, <laughs> yeah. you know, he be talking shit with us, and they be over oh, here with them, too, boy. on Sunday. Well, just just don't get mad at me like uh, another host so. over there. Be oh God! Mad at me when I be slipping. You gonna get a call of night, nigga. <laughs> Human resources mm-hmm. on Sunday, mm-hmm. nigga. Mm-hmm. No wings for you, no combos, <laughs> no, no nothing. alcohol, no nothing. God. That was her. Damn. That was her letting it out. That was her saying, you know what? I've been holding this in. I'm getting it off my chest. I'm sick of this shit. And she let it out in the studio. Wow. She let it out in the studio. She did what she's supposed to do. She she put all those emotions together and she made a song and she let it out in the studio. And it didn't do it didn't do bad. It didn't do bad. She 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 threw a lot of shots out there. I'm like, damn. They even was saying she was referencing um Drake um when she said niggas be talking about surgery but have the same scars. Ooh, oh, you know, I mean she she was Drake. Drake. Yeah, she was she was she was she shooting at niggas. She was shooting at niggas, niggas and you know yeah, what I mean. She, she was shooting at both two parties. Lines. She said, "Bitch, you a pussy." Oh God, you never will address me. And then she said the Megan's law shit. So, so yeah, but she should have known that Nikki was going to dress. Oh up. God! So so what? It's only a few chicks that Nikki not going to dress. Oh God! So what? Drake got a BBL or something? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> is he got scars true? on the booty. <laughs> <laughs> is who got them allegedly? <laughs> Niggas out here getting BBLs too. <laughs> they are though. Doctor Miami confirmed that, and we know that what? they are too. Of course, yeah. You can go get one if you want. I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna do that. I'll be fat. <laughs> they're not getting BBLs. They're they not getting the um. They're they getting, get um, they get getting the, the, they're they're getting the, the term is probably different for a man, of course. Yeah, they're not what? getting BBLs. They're getting like um. Yo, three. They getting surgery to like move. You know, Flex got it. Flex got it. They said LL <laughs> did it allegedly. People, they said, you know, maybe you know what I mean. They needed like you know, a it's it's a it's the way to cut a corner if you're ready to trying to lose some weight and go in the gym. Like the whole there. fake abs and all that that's like corny fake but. abs they yeah. said bbl stands for body be lying <laughs> <laughs> the booty. to each his own you got the money you want to put your your health <laughs> no on that table it's funny but yeah i, I mean you to sleep i don't, I don't see, on you i don't see anything wrong with it if you feel like that's what you want to do do you I mean, I mean flex was very open about his procedure he, he did it. He did it online, sneakers. right? He had um. He, he had the hospital. Online? Yeah, he, nah, was he a, showed. He showed, he showed it. the video. Yeah, yeah he, he showed, showed it. The child sneak up. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Listen, man. So I we got to get into know. Nikki's Bigfoot. Let's go. Song. Jay, you got that? I think so. Let's go. Oh God. <laughs> 
It goes on. <laughs> Play the whole thing? Yeah, no. It's it like, goes on. Yeah, it's, like, it's like two more we, minutes we left. We're not listening two to the whole minutes. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's whispering. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. She's talking. Okay, so, her so shit. Be the, be the ball whisperer. There's a lot of shit going on here. Dead mama. Fucking your friends, man. So, hold on, hold on. She allegedly was screwing her brothers. I don't know. Okay. She said something about, I don't know, Nikki was... She said something about how you're gonna fuck your mom's man when she died. Something you lied on your mom. Oh God. Man. And do it's you think? Oh, person. so this is what Let's people go. started talking about. Talk about it. They started talking about do they? You know, did she go too far by talking about her deceased mom? Then you know you have people who say in battle rap there is no, there is no limits. Do you do you agree with that? Ooh, I'm gonna let y'all answer that first. <laughs> You can go first, still. Or, I mean, who the old cool saying is all fair in love and war, but I ain't going front for entertainment. Talking about somebody's deceased mother, father, kids, whatever. I think that's off the line, and that shit can, you know, lead to other things. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do. I'm a man of integrity. I would never talk about somebody that's not here to defend themselves. What's even more crazy though is how crazy the fans are, because they had. Um, scares of both of their parents' graves. Her father and Megan's mom. Um, they had to place security around their grave what? sites because they were th- getting threatened to be dug up. Mm-hmm. They did. Oh, I think that too they far. did that to pop. Them barbs are deadly. No, I think they did that to pop too. They dug his grave up. To pop, pop smoke. Pop, pop smoke. smoke. Yeah, in Brooklyn. I think I heard. Word. something. Yeah, they did. They they did that. Wow. Yeah, you're right. They did that. They did that. They did. You know it's wicked people out here, man. I don't know what type of. And time you know, the sad part about that is that has nothing to do at the same time with the artists. You know, they don't. Well, no, let me not say that. But they not sending them to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So these fans are actually taking things into their own hands and doing things like that. And I just think like. Where's your mental stability? This is someone who you don't even know. Yeah, it's crazy. But anyway. People are crazy. Yeah, so do y'all think that was too far? Do you think 3D that was too far for her to go there? And the overall records overall. Which one was better? Um just to go back, pop pop smoke uh gravesite was vandalized. Vandalized. Yeah, okay. So like they did some, you know, it wasn't he wasn't he wasn't they didn't dug up nobody, you know what I'm saying? So but as far as this go, I'm not really too in tune with the back and forth, why what it stems from. I did listen to both records. Um I think Megan's record was more thought out it was planned like she sat down and wrote that record and she planned to release it and she took shots at not just nikki but a lot of other people i think nikki nikki's response was too impulsive for my liking whereas um it was just an immediate response where it's like you didn't really sit down and say that i'm gonna really just go in on this chick like and just put some bars to the paper and like go out. I think she was more so her probably just sitting in the booth and the engineer threw a track up and she was kind of like semi freestyling, but putting putting what she wanted together. Um, which she had a couple of dope lines in there, but I just think overall it wasn't, you know, it wasn't what it wasn't on a level of what we expect from a top tier MC. It was personal. You know what I mean? It was like, no, no, it was it was personal, but it was like you reacted off of your emotions rather than the goal. Like most diss tracks is like like what a lot of people don't know Pick when that pen. Yeah, when when the takeover came out, Nas ain't dropped Ether till five months later. So it wasn't like he got impulsive in his feelings and went to the studio that night or two days later. He's like, I'm gonna get at this nigga when I get at this nigga. However, he really went in because they said it was two to three different versions of Ether. So what I'm saying is Nikki was supposed to let this shit breathe, not say a word, uh-huh. That's and then go too. behind closed doors. And next thing you know, when nobody expects anything, boom. Oh, crazy body. Yeah. You know cool. what I'm saying? Like, if you imagine she didn't say nothing, and then in, what are we, in February, in fucking April or June, we hear Nicki Minaj, Bigfoot, this Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's it would have hit way different. You know what I'm saying? It would have hit way different. And if I'm in her camp, 
that's something I'm saying. Like, you worried about those shots? Like, right, nah, right, right. like, let's first let's, of all, yeah, the whole song. I could see if the whole song was about her. Uh-huh. She said two lines about her. That's it. Everybody got their turn. Nikki just got her little two lines. But it pretty it. much tells you how she already had disdain for her if she responded immediately mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so when ready. somebody that you oh, are bitch, somebody you already you don't fuck around. with but yeah. you you leave you leave it alone like i don't fuck with this nigga yeah. you leave it alone but as soon as that nigga do something you you react oh. to it well, you've been wow. waiting <laughs> you, you know wait. what i'm saying like and I, of I course wait for you we know where all that's been going on <laughs> you know what i'm saying is not outside of the box the first thing somebody gonna mention is her foot and tori oh God. that's the first thing somebody's gonna mention when they're Big trying to diss her dang Oh, I know. I what's, so <laughs> what's so funny though is Ding. it's other women that are, you know, tall and, you know, they might wear a size, whatever, maybe past a seven, eight, nine, or 10. Maybe yes. they're in the 11s, you know? They oh. putting stuff in it. Like, how did I get in it? How did they put, you know how TikTok is and they make videos? Women yeah, is playing yeah. it. Like, how did I get in it? <laughs> how did I get in it? That's too funny. But you know, it's entertaining. But I do think the mama thing was a little too far. JOJ, what you think? Yeah, definitely, man. Um, I think Nikki shouldn't even respond to that at all. That's how I feel that, about it. Like if you wanna if you wanna Queen's behavior for real. If you want a certain level, like you shouldn't even be bothered by that. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean, mm-hmm. but I, I kinda like Nikki for version better. It was more cleaner to me. That's why like I'm I'm I I just listened more to track Nikki's? than yeah, I'm just saying, like... I think Megan more... was too fast for him. Yeah, I, I probably got to listen, listen to it again. Mm-hmm. You mean as far as the lyrics? Cause the... Yeah, because she she had a fast type of flow. Nikki's was more slow talking, playing around. Uh, Megan was rapping. It go back to what Three said. It's like Hove when he uh, made that H-O-V-A. Like, he was just so mad. Can't y'all see that he's fake, the rapper? Like, he was begging for people to yeah. ride with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just doing too much trying to yeah, win. Yeah, like, you, after you got hit with that, yeah. you made, like, three different records to try. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you made, like, three yeah. different responses. And she had a different beat before she changed one the beat. Record. So it's like, yeah. like I said, it felt, I, I think Nicki joint, like, she had some shit in there. It was a few lines in yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. That was tough. However, it wasn't, it ain't hit. And a, re- a lot of times, the reason that it really didn't hit is because she was like on her Instagram live and on her Twitter playing a preview of some of the bars. So all the good lines, like the oh. big foot, get up on your good foot. She look good to it. You know what I mean? Rodney. The people Rodney. heard it. So, it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like if we would have heard some of Nas bars before we actually got Ether, it, it wouldn't have hit as hard as... You a fan, a phony, a fake, a pussy, a stand. I still whip your ass. You 36 in a karate class. class. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't have hit the same if we would have heard that already versus us just hearing it like, God damn, this nigga's going in. So Mm -hmm. I think if, like I said previously, I think if Nikki would have just fell back, digested that and was like, oh, this is what she want. All right, I got it. Mm -hmm. And just threw something at her later but i think it was an impulsive response yeah. that's why it wasn't top tier because it's yeah. like she mumbling she talking she give us some bars and she give us some talking then she give us some mm-hmm. more because you don't you got to really know what angle you're going in when you want to go make a whole diss record mm-hmm. for somebody mm-hmm. yeah. like jay-z and the reason why jay's why hove and i keep bringing this up because it's one of the biggest battles in hip-hop history is because you can't you threw shots at nas you didn't make a record ether was a record directed towards jay-z and rockefeller Mm -hmm. the takeover was a song and he threw shots at Mm mob deep Mm -hmm. and jay-z i mean mob deep and nas Mm -hmm. and just talking about how he's the guy but so it's like of course ether's gonna win because he only gave nas a verse in takeover that's a fact so nas went in a lab and it's like i'm I'm gonna you know i mean i know what to do like, but that that verse felt like a whole song. <laughs> it, no, it did. It did. Like when Takeover hit, and he thought yeah, he had one. That, he thought that, like, yeah. yo, yeah, this is gonna finish, son. Mm-hmm. But little did he know, it's like all you did was extend boy career. Mm-hmm. Whole fact. Up until now. Whole fact. <laughs> to where he dropping classics, almost thirty years later after he got into yeah, the game. I mean, it's crazy. Boy. But that's what I said. Right, right, everybody yeah. needs some motivation. And, and, and for 
since if, oh sorry before nikki to need six minutes to get a point across too that's that's too long man like what are you doing and like she's a, talking a, interlude she's like <laughs> yeah. oh my god she changed the beat once she, oh, she had a god. different beat too oh and the end is a different beat too emotionally invested in it that mean that it's that, not that hit home that that megan's law and then you said a bar like how you humping on a minor oh god like she just said that basically in her shit about you you know when she mentioned megan's law and I felt like like she just could have said some other things, you know, that was a little harder. Yeah, you're right. But absolutely, when people have a certain amount of money, after a while they start getting passes, and and people are just biased because not only is she queen, she's Nikki, Fact. queens, and Nikki. Fact. You know, I've been biased too sometimes. Like fuck that, that's Nikki. She from Queens, but. In this room. I mean, if we really talking about the art too. and we really talking about the music, not how much you made, not your, uh, not how much jury you got on. If we talking about your pen and paper, <laughs> shit, I ain't been biased. Um, Saving you. you know, rap. You get like you got to rap. I mean, she's starting to be a little repetitive now. I mean, the whole I'm the queen, I'm the queen. They want my spot. They want my spot. It's starting to be like, okay, yeah, what's next? Yeah. I, I mean, I, th- I, I, th- hear I a little I'm, more. I think she's a dope artist. I never like really uh sub- subscribe to her being a ill like rapper or MC to me. This is me personally. I'm not saying that she don't she can't rap or she don't put bars together. I just think that she transformed into a dope artist where she knew how to make records She's and versatile. put out hit songs and be versatile. That's mm-hmm, what I mm-hmm, dug mm-hmm, into. But it's mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. I don't it's not like where it's like I'm going to put in the record and just let that shit play and not mm-hmm. skip nothing. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. I'm a guy and I can just, like, pop in. Mm-hmm. No, really, like, not going to... I could throw in hardcore yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm, by mm-hmm. Little Kim and that shit. Is, now, granted, most of it was written by a man. So maybe mm-hmm. that's why. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But as well, I could throw in Lauryn Hill shit. I could throw in that Eve mm-hmm. Scorpion mm-hmm. album and mm-hmm. just... Sex. That shit is knocking from front to back. Mm-hmm. And she talking about different topics i think that nikki is nikki like i think that she's been the elite rapper over the past decade plus Mm -hmm. and i think Mm -hmm. that all these young girls they looked up to her Mm -hmm. i just think Mm -hmm. that she didn't do a great job of welcoming welcoming and being welcoming and embracing as a queen the generation before her as being that you know what i mean and i think some of that had to do with that she felt like the ones before her didn't do that for her no question no question you know what i mean so but we got to remember her and Kim's riff was Kim didn't feel like she was paying homage or tipping her cap when it was really like you really trying to mimic my whole mm-hmm. giddy up from a marketing to the look to everything. So Kim felt like you should have came in and embraced me, mm-hmm. and it would we would have been it would have been a better off. Like this is mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That's it, it's what a passing of is now. passing of the torch, so no to question. say. That's no kind of what her beef is now. She like y'all bitches better recognize that I'm. I'm who I am. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, and it's like you almost repeating the same thing. It's like no question. Yeah. And that's why she got into it with Lotto. And I, I feel like out of the new generation, I think Lotto is the one that's gonna be that mm-hmm. that one that's gonna have the staying power. Yes. I think she's, she's gonna be the one because she's versatile, mm-hmm. she has the look, and she really could spit. And no it, it comes that it comes from her pedigree. Yes. So that's if you right. saw her on a rap game as a kid. Yep. you knew that this shit was in her like yep. it's from her pedigree so i think that she's going to be the one to have the staying power even longer than the ice spice mm-hmm. or these other people that's all getting their money and mm-hmm. they have uh chart topping records i think lotto is the one that's going to have the staying power and she's going to be around for like a uh, couple of decades mm-hmm. God, that's what it is man Word, man so um you know we gonna move that way we step on that one Time, man. Yeah, that was got, good. That was a that good was a good topic. one. That we was a good that. topic mm-hmm. right there, man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it to a DJ J O J spin cycle. And when we come back, we got our special invited guest in the building, man. Don't forget the number to call in is 516-206-0711. No off season on bars and hoops radio. Check in with us. Yes, indeed. Peace to Lord Jamal, man. Jamal Milton, man. First and foremost, man, we appreciate you pulling up to the show. Chop it up with us today, man. You know, we got a lot to talk about. Your career is very interesting. I, I love what you're doing, man. And I want our fan base to get a better understanding of who you are. So before we get into it, please let everybody know who you are and where you're from. 
Jamal Milton, Long Island, New York, Freeport to be exact. Freeport. Yeah, you know I mean, and uh, you know, ended up in Roosevelt uh, in Hempstead, New York. You know, pretty much a Nassau County uh, homegrown. Man. That's what it is, Long Island. That's mm -hmm. what it is, man. So, what was your childhood like growing up in your uh, neighborhood? Pretty uh, action packed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Obviously, <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty much, the, you know, the poor, rambunctious kid in the hood just having fun, you know, from basketball games to fights to, you know, rapping and cracking jokes and, you know, typical typical kid growing up, I would say, you know what I'm saying, for, for what we had. We made it work. No question. You know, we was outside. Outside, facts. <laughs> yeah, we was outside. Facts. Right. Shout out to everybody that was outside. You mentioned basketball, so you played. You played? Uh, yeah, yeah, I played ball, uh, Long Island Lutheran, you know, it's pretty much a basketball school, you know, they would recruit different kids and stuff to come out there. I, I wasn't recruited, but, um, I found that out when I got there that it was prominent in basketball and I loved, you know, uh, ball and I was nice. And you walked on. Huh? You walked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh. Absolutely. Okay. It was, just, like, it was just, that's what I did. You know what I mean? I played ball pretty much my, my whole life, uh, between that and, uh, in and out of church, you know, uh, yes, my indeed. parents was, uh. Uh, pastors so okay. oh. you know i was in church like six days a week you know uh growing up i was a drummer uh for the church and stuff like that so i was Ooh. really into the music um aspect of it so that was pretty much the that took up a lot of my life like just doing music for, since like the fourth grade i, oh. I learned like five instruments you know i just mm. been on that you know I, I could read music you know uh sight oh. read music all that kind of stuff and there's my yeah Mm -hmm. What kind of what kind of church you going like six six um, days a week? That's a lot. What what, what kind of church? I mean, because I was involved in all the ministry. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. You had to be there all the meetings. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know what I mean? So Wednesdays was kinship. You know, Mondays was uh, with the actual uh, music ministry, the band. You know, stuff uh -huh. like that. You know, um, uh, Tuesdays my parents were they they were in charge of the bookstore and stuff like that. So they had that going on. Oh. You know, what I'm saying it's like I'm always there. You know, what I'm saying all the way through, and then Sunday. Yeah, back at it, right? I'm not mm. playing for the church. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. Like so, you know what I mean? So that's what I was that's what I was doing for a large period of my life. It was engulfed into, you know, that aspect. Mm -hmm. Nice. Interesting. So 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 before I get to the MC question, so you were more of a musician right. before MCing. Absolutely. So when did the MC part come into to play and who inspired you to want to be an MC? I would say um it started when I first heard um, Onyx. Okay, shout out to Onyx. Shout out to Onyx. Screw it up, man. Uh, it was Slam. Mm -hmm. uh, slam. Um, because, you know, I was so engulfed in, you know, trying to be the good kid, the good church kid. So when Slam came out, it was like, yo, just let us live. You know what I mean? Let it all out. Yeah, we was young. We was babies. Mm -hmm. you know, we was youngest. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we just wanted to do our thing. So anything no that was question. like rebellious, yeah. it's like we on yeah. it. Like yeah. what? Well, Onyx yeah. really molded, you know, my my earlier just like wanting to love and hear more music, more hip hop music. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, and then it, it got into uh, the Biggie and Pac era mm -hmm. uh, when I really started to uh, attach to it. To you know, more seriously. Which was crazy. Yeah. You know, I came in in a really weird um time so you could hear it like even in my music it's still that's grungy it. you know what i'm saying um because that's where i developed in those years you know what i'm saying so you could hear that pain you could hear you know what i'm saying that realness and also that consciousness you know what i'm saying so it's like a melting pot got mm -hmm. you got you so that's how you would describe your style of music yeah it's a lot Okay, okay. You, you hear the R&B soul in it too. So yes, like, and that's what I'm saying because your music is 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 unique. It's, it's 90s era. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, heavy, yeah, heavy. You know what I mean? It's good, good, good on the edge. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Choice of selection. So you, it's safe to say you do your own production. Yeah, and everything. From, like for the most part. So I, I ventured out on the As Above album, on the Nine album. You you see, you hear a lot of my production, um, and then on the As Above and So Below album. You know, I ventured out more. So more as above is, is a lot of me venturing out. So below is a, you'll hear my production on yes, there. So yes. you know, uh you'll hear my production on there. So it's like it depends on 
it's, it mixes in and out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's not all me or, or you know, all got other you. people. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Got you. You got network. You know. Got you, man. So, so Long Island has a rich history of pioneers. Oh, absolutely. But for some reason, they don't seem to get the credit that they deserve. Mm -hmm. Do you have like a chip on your shoulder as an artist, hailing from Long Island, born and raised? Um, honestly, I think like wherever you're from, that's how it is. Because yeah. the more you travel, you talk to people from around the country, they be like, my people back home, they say the same thing yes. about where they live. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? I think it's it's subjective, really. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, once I, But I do, you know, I, I, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't say, you know, when I ventured out and started traveling the world and started getting those type of opportunities, yeah. um, back home then turned around and looked at me different. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When I was right mm -hmm. there all, of, all mm -hmm. along. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's not that I have a chip on my shoulder, but I'm conscious of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm conscious of people who are honest in their opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because that's important when you're an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, when you release your art, especially if it's real art, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody does real art. Right? right. right. So, if you're doing real art, you know, you're not just pumping it out there just to pump it out there and make money. Facts. It's, it's something that you're going to get from that, from the people that you're looking for. You it's know hard. what I'm saying? And that's that hard. honesty. Mm -hmm. you, you know, if you're going to pour your heart into something, mm -hmm. you want somebody to respect it. You know what I mean? So it's just a different approach to music, you know, and that's no disrespect to how anybody does theirs. You know that's what I'm saying? Right. I tell people, like, I love what you're doing, like, over there. Right. Facts. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? That's for you. That's for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's great for you. That's what makes us all unique Whole at fact. the end of the day. Whole fact. So you mentioned traveling the world. Mm -hmm. Was that musically or just your personal endeavors, just traveling the world to see the world? No, literally, like you getting on a plane ticket, <laughs> getting a plane ticket and flying somewhere and experiencing life, you know, because, you know, anytime I get into a place where I don't feel like doing music, it's because I ha I'm not living. And, you know, you have to have that fine balance between um, work life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Anytime I find that I have riders block, it's because okay, I need to get out of here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. then, as soon as I as soon as I get out of here, take a trip somewhere, you know, I like to go to museums and um I also like to like talk to the natives. Like I don't like to be mm -hmm. in the tourist places. I, I'll go into places Absolutely. where nobody would go. Mm -hmm. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? But alone. You know what I'm saying? Because I know like it's a certain aura that I carry where I can move in the, in these areas, you Facts. know, alone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, and and make sure my energy is proper in that space. Mm -hmm. I like I was gifted with that. You know what I'm saying. You know how people, mm -hmm. some people don't know what their gift is. That's I right. know that I can move in any space. Right. You know what I'm saying. You said that earlier. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and I'm protected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, at the end of the day, traveling helps you to have a different perspective and it widens your consciousness. So therefore, when you start to create, now you have a better perspective. You put, you just put in more information in your pot. That's all you're doing. It's a whole fact. That's yeah. a whole fact. And I'm glad that he said what he said. Like most people, you know, like they, you know, the big thing was, oh, we're going to go to Dubai. But when you go to Dubai, you realize that the natives are struggling. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Though It's ran by three sheiks, mm -hmm. but the rest of the country is struggling, you know what I mean? And you get to see them when you go out and venture off and then you go in the desert and you take these doom buggy rides and then you go and celebrate with them during their barbecue. You're like, this is a barbecue? It's different. It's different. It's different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like yeah. you said, you get a different perspective on how people live and you see like, damn, this is Fantasy Island. Like the people out here is really I did exactly like what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Kevin. That's exactly what I did. We rode the dune buggies into Mount, into Mount Sinai. We sat down and we had food. There's flies all around us. Facts. Shit. You know what I mean? Like, Facts. crazy. Real, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Little kids running around, no shoes on. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Camels everywhere. Mm -hmm. Bugged out, man. You know what I'm saying? It's stinking. But, yo, yeah. we hungry. So, we got to eat. Like we out yeah. here in the desert, bro. Facts. This is what we're doing. Yes. So, it's like a whole different experience. You know what I'm saying? When you come home, you got a different perspective mm -hmm. just on how mm -hmm. people yes. live here and just like how... Ah oh, man, how entitled we are. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like I could really go in, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the sake of the energy, but for real, like when you take when you travel, when you come back, it's like, yo, we really got it good, you know what I'm saying, compared to the rest of the world. Facts. A lot of this opportunity is just right in our face. And, and we're squandering it. You know what I mean? A whole fact. Squandering it, playing yeah. games. Yeah, that that definitely that grounded me and it taught me something. Cause you know, when you hear about these places, like, let me go visit it and see what it mm -hmm. is. You say by Boats and jet skis mm -hmm. and all that, mm -hmm. but then when you really get into 
the meat and potatoes of how it really is out there. You'd be like he said, it's a humbling experience. And you'd be like, damn. Especially when you see like certain areas where the natives can't go on their own land that we Facts. can go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's dis that's just disgusting to me. And right. I see it all over. You know what I'm saying? When they have certain old resort resorts or different areas, it's yes. like the natives can't go past this line. Facts. You got it's like this is just wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's blowing my mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. But you know, it yeah. is what it is. You know, yes, man. That's the world. That's the real world. So just to double back on something that you said, because I picked up on you what you said. You said, you know, some art, maybe fake art, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, what's your thoughts on the current state of the music game today? Being that you grew up in the era that you grew up in, mm. like you said, it was a, a, a dope era, mm. different than what it is today. But what's your thoughts on where it is today, how it's evolved into what it is today? Um, I think it's struggling. Um, I think it's um, at, a, at, a, at a breaking point to where, mm. um, and, I, and this is on all sides, uh, to where the art is going to drastically change um, somehow because now it's already gotten redefined in so many different ways. Hip hop has all different genres and twists and turns to it, you know what I'm saying? Between trap, drill, you know, yes. it's, it's just, it's gotten crazy. Um, I think it's getting to a point where it's gonna have to be redefined again. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a breakthrough artist that's gonna come through and like really smash everything just to pieces like the way you know you seen the way 50 came in Facts. the way uh, you know or m came in so we like, waiting okay, for that yeah I th we waiting yeah. for that waiting you know what i'm saying it. we have in these different ways but it's like it's like hot mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it ain't it ain't blaze it ain't yeah. johnny blaze yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> we ain't there so you know <laughs> it's 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 on on that aspect and then also on the the financial side, the there legal go. side, let's go. Um, that's going to shift uh, drastically as well. It's already starting to take place uh -huh. uh, with things that's happening in the social media and TikTok. You know, mm -hmm. for for artists that are independent, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's a whole go. lot of different shifts that's going on uh, with the game. But basically, what's going to happen is just like I said, it's going to be a breakthrough with that too. Uh, hip hop and uh, our music genre has always been at the forefront of technology. Mm. So, however, the newest technology is coming out, um, whatever the young generation jumps on yeah. that artist you know um is going to do things that you've never seen before done and and take over in ways you've never thought Facts. could be could be done and, and and hands on not just having you know other people doing it not mm -hmm. this person that that person got it and they on they're vertically integrated with what's going on mm -hmm. that's a fact you know what I'm saying that's a fact and it's funny you mentioned tiktok because i just found out the other day just casual conversation with a dude that's heavily involved in the industry he's like yo tiktok is they have their own like billboard list of mm -hmm. what's really trending and what's hot that all these kids are really yeah. listening to and playing. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to hear what's going on, you go to TikTok, mm -hmm. pull up those lists, and that puts you in the what exactly is going on right now. You know, what I mean? it's funny they said the technology mm -hmm. piece of it, man. Yeah, and then so, one more just mm -hmm. to add on Let's the last go. piece mm -hmm. is it's also has now opened up a spectrum uh for the older artists to get more burn and mm. more respect mm -hmm. um that they deserve mm -hmm. because now hip hop is no longer a baby like remember it was just a baby yes. developing when they was doing their thing facts so now we're seeing the older generation of hip hop mature in their art mm -hmm. you know seeing uh, you know the jays and you know what I'm saying do what they do at that age you know it's, it's special yes. you know because we've seen rock and roll do it We've seen jazz do it. Yeah, hip hop is the only one they'd be like, "Oh yeah, you, 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 twenty five. It's a rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are yeah. we doing here? Like, yeah. you know Spoke what I mean? About that. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, if, or they get killed off before they get a chance Boy. to mature. Oh, you feel God. me? So that's a whole nother conversation. Yes. But mm -hmm. in a sense, we getting now to see the birth of the mature hip hop. Where we could talk about, you know, mm -hmm. having kids and you know, mm -hmm. you know, now they raised up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And all that type of stuff. We seeing it now with Beyonce having her her, her daughter, mm -hmm. her, you know, yeah. maturing right before our right eyes. eyes. That's it's beautiful. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that aspect is 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 coming and we've never seen it before. So it's special. And, and that's yeah. a fact. And I got I got a question. Yeah, yes. guys, guys, yeah. Um, you said you grew up in the church, right? But right. I see you with your crown. What was that journey like, man? You know what I'm saying? Word. That's that, that kind of that kind of birthed my career. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. When that? When did that happen? When did he get enlightened? Yeah, when Jay? did he get enlightened? Yeah. Check you out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Peace, Almighty. Peace, Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> I say it's been about a decade. Decade? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming up on the anniversary of that. Nice. Um, yeah, it was a um a surreal experience, you know, um coming to that that space of awakening. Um, mm-hmm. not to get too far deep into it, mm-hmm. but you know, it's it was life changing for me because it's like I had all of these jewels stored up already. And when now I'm released to the I look at it like I was released to the lions then. You know what I'm saying? With a whole lot of just meat packs on me and jewels. <laughs> uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And jewels. Yeah. Because when I go into the war, I know a lot about religion. I know a lot about Christianity. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what I was was Reason. following. Yes. Yeah. So and I was very I was very, very uh in tune with the spirit of it. Mm-hmm. Not just I know some information. You know, people just like mm-hmm, to spit verses. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm, no. mm-hmm. we was in tune with it. Like I'm, I was the kid Stunt. at eight years old in Brooklyn, in Brownsville, mm-hmm. doing missionary work in mm-hmm. a tent, sleeping there for for a whole week. Wow, every mm-hmm. year mm-hmm. called Mission Week, mm-hmm. like that. Okay, mm-hmm. saving souls, mm-hmm. right? And then when I came into the um, awakening, it's like it's like it's a whole different being. Like I look at that, that that's a whole different person. Mm-hmm. I had to go back and apologize to people that planted seeds. Mm. That was trying to help you me. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, wake up. Okay. Wake mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. And I had to go, you know what I'm saying? Apologize to people that planted seeds. And I didn't know they was planting seeds. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I was going back and forth with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? You going to hell type conversation. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I had to go back mm-hmm. like, yo, thank you for still being my friend. Mm-hmm. You know how some people, yeah, that's you know, real. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it can get crazy mm-hmm. like that. Oh right? yeah, people are definitely yeah. like, nah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I was an asshole. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If we really want to get down to it, when mm-hmm. you look at that and mm-hmm. that person, when you firm in your belief, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So I was just like, man, and to be so naive in many ways, mm-hmm. you know, it's a humbling experience. It's a self. um self-searching experience Mm -hmm. where you go inward Mm. Mm. like that's the journey that's the journey because people think the journey is all you got to know it's not the journey ain't all always just the place it's the inward journey too that's more important don't get it twisted that's right right that's what we call shadow work Mm -hmm. if Mm. you're not doing your shadow work right Mm -hmm. you're losing out on the lessons Mm. now you're just going to be going in cycles Mm. that's hell Mm. Damn. Mm. Drop a bomb on that still. Man. Drop Come a bomb on that. Hey, man, you know I'm going to do that, man. For real, man. Just doubling back a little bit, man. You mentioned mature, mature music. When I hear some of your music and a lot of stuff that you put out to the world, like through social media, it's very mature. Are you currently working on any new projects? That I got you care to share. I got one in the clip. Mm-hmm. Uh, I might as well announce it here. Um, it's going to be exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> I got one in the clip, um, and it's called 10. 10? This is the sequel to 9. Hmm. So we're going to be dropping that um, probably while I'm in Africa in about two, three weeks. Probably. Okay. It's going to be your first time on the continent? No. Africa? No. No, he said he's been there. He said he was yeah. in the desert. I took, I took 100 people to, to Africa. What? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, to the pyramids to, so we could go read. Oh, yeah. that's, that's what's up. I ain't catch he, that. He, yeah, he was just saying he was in the desert. One. Yeah, I'm a com- I'm a comedic priest. Brown, I heard Browns, man. <laughs> I didn't hear that word. Yeah, I'm a I'm, I'm a comedic priest. Oh, African spirituality and sacred sciences. Oh, like I Dr. Valentine and all I see that. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. um What's the name? Mendes? Is it Mendes? The, um, no, not Mendes. Infidishi. Infidishi. Yeah, he, yeah. He's yeah. coming with us. Yeah. Oh, he's coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm performing out there on the Nile River. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm nice. When is that? I might try to come out there. Shout out to JLJ. Uh, there you go. February the 16th is the performance. Performance 16th? Oh, yeah. this this month. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. too close. Yeah, that's too close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I rock with infantry. I bought some of his jewelry, too. He still be on um, 125th? Yeah. Right. Okay. All the time. All the time. If he's not in, if he's not in Kemet, he's on 125th. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
Reading okay. a book. Reading a book, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a lot, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Shout out to Infidishi. Word, oh, peace. Man. Peace so, to the God. So some of your music, I see we've collaborated with, you know, what some people out there like, you know, Joey Badass and, and things like that on this 10 project. Are you collaborating with anybody or is just you? Solo? I got a I got a few uh collaborations. Um uh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say nothing. Oh, I just right. I just okay. got a few. Okay, okay. I just got a few. The cat out the bag. When when you look at um what nine was, mm -hmm. um nine wasn't that many collaborations at all on it. Got it you. was just solid. So I'm trying to keep that energy gotcha. of where, you know, where I'm going with this, but there mm -hmm. are a few features on here and and um and they super dope. Um, you know, I'll say some of the home team ones, you know, my dude um A E um out of Brooklyn. Um, I got him on there. Mm -hmm. um, A.E. the Broken Artist. He's mm -hmm. a really, really dope um, hip hop, like jazz soul artist. Mm -hmm. You know, someone like myself, he carries a melody that's just insane. You know, so I got him on there on Headshot. Um, of course, my my bro La over there. Mm -hmm. He's always on. He's on every one of my projects. You mm -hmm. know, he's a, he's in the lab every time I'm laying a verse. I don't think he's ever missed one. <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. a couple. Maybe a couple. Maybe like yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I think he was there for Yami. but he was there for most of. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just leave it at that. I got some dope features on in there. You're gonna like it. Got you, got yeah. you, man. So, you talked about your spiritual journey, right? Yeah. What has your journey through the music game been like? What were some of the obstacles, some of the biggest challenges that you face coming into this space? Um, I say the biggest um, challenge is the the energies that are already there that you're unfamiliar with. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, mm -hmm. um, in their in their movement. You know, um, I'm I'm really aware. You know, in a room. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like even now, like if you see, like I'm, I, I'm really like even like looking at y'all because mm -hmm. like I'm looking at everybody at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I, I read a room like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know, just gauging different rooms and how people interact and how you know sometimes people you know switch up around certain people mm -hmm. and then how people um might treat you but not treat the people you with the same mm. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. like and that's and that's not even just in the hip-hop world mm -hmm. that's just in life, life yes yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's the same thing like like life but their interest is just different the interest is in music and in you know popularity mm -hmm. that's really what it is mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. nowadays the artists aren't even the ones that's doing the music mm -hmm. it's personalities yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. It's personalities. Mm -hmm. The artists are on the corners. Mm -hmm. The artist is outside. You know, mm -hmm. the real true artists, the true singers, they're in like local bars and venues. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and it's just a different game. No question. So no you got to get in where you fit in. But anybody can win now. That's a whole fact. Yeah, anybody can win. Worldwide net, man, for real. Mm -hmm. Playing fields, mm -hmm. even yeah, yeah. because yeah. yeah. now Somewhat. you have access to your yeah. followers. Yeah. You have yeah. access to your audience, so you could go direct to mm -hmm. who you're looking for. No, you don't need a label now. You don't, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, go straight to it. That's a fact, man. So, what you know, these past few years, man, three, four years, man, with COVID, man, mm -hmm. um, has that impacted you with your creativity, mm -hmm. and how did you stay busy? as an artist or were you even even focused on music during that time what kept you going and what was your musical influences through that time man covid was um was insane for me mm -hmm. um 2020 was a year because you know i'm an activist mm -hmm. so i probably did more protests than mm -hmm. anybody in the 100 squat mile square radius um it was just it was it was very very tough on me i had my son that year uh <laughs> on the day wow. the day of covid wow, wow. wow. <laughs> he was he was born on march 6 um the moment he was born 15 minutes that i leave him mm -hmm. i come back and they won't let me back into the nicu 
Wow. wow. And then like you got headache, cough, anything, boom, boom, boom. Wow. No, I'm like, I just came out of here. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I had a newborn. The world is going down. Facts. And the people is looking at me. Mm-hmm. Like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Every day, mm-hmm. I was at a different protest. Every day. The one in New York City, I, I could show y'all the footage of me with the RBG flag going mm-hmm. over the bridge. Mm-hmm. Then I could show you me the next day with my son and all of them coming from mm-hmm. Shout out to Justice Park, League. From the um up at, from uh, Central Park. All shout the way out to down. Tamika Mallory. Shout out to my son. I almost fainted. Yeah, shout out to my son. I almost fainted. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the the women, man. The women, the women on the side mm-hmm. um, that was helping. You know, like, you know, we talk about all the leaders and stuff like that. But if mm-hmm. you really in the fight, you know what it's really at. No what question. It really at. No question. And shout out to the women that was making sandwiches and just had water for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. because you know, I, would have been, I probably would have been in the hospital had it not been for them. Wow. Because you know, you know, when you really in the fight, you don't be eating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just like you are mm-hmm. focused on yeah, your mm-hmm. like you out here. You know what I'm saying? When mm-hmm. you really banging on the beach, like you're not even sleeping. Like it's like you know, it's on you. So that's how we was moving during that time. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, Shout out to Mortal Technique. He was Shout out, out to there. Mortal Technique. That's yeah. my guy right there. Yeah, he Word. was in New York City with the gas mask on. Shout out to him. <laughs> <laughs> Full boy, you know, the real, the real uh-huh. choice. <laughs> Shout Word out up. to Mortal. Word up, for oh, real. Man. That's my guy right there, man. Who else? Um, who else we had? Yeah, I'm going to reach out to Tech, man. Joey was with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Joey called us. Joey we had just that. finished the... Yeah, he, yeah we, we, yeah, had, we yeah. had just finished the... If you have the black and proud video shoot, we was literally putting all the stuff in the car. So when you watch the footage of the black and proud uh, music video, yeah. that's actual footage of us going into the city, mm. right? That ain't mm. no like act. That's mm. really us protesters doing what we doing. Mm-hmm. But literally, we putting the stuff in the car from the video shoot. So you'll see the video shoot. Mm-hmm. We have the same clothes on, <laughs> doing the same thing because we went straight from there <laughs> to the protest. Like he's like, "Yo, I feel like we need to do something." I'm like, "Yo, what you want to do? Let's get it." <laughs> you know what I mean? And we peeled right from there. Let's go. We we went to we the out. city. It was all that popping from there, yo. Word up. Uh, what? Word, man. So. Uh, so we talk a lot about music, man. Like, and it's a lot of layers with you, man. Like you said, you went to a lot. You know what I mean? So let's talk a little bit about finance, man. Yeah. You're obviously a well-rounded individual, knowledge yourself. In one of your songs, you mentioned Safe Moon. I said that before we even got on air. Market a cap. lot of people don't know about Safe Moon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And probably didn't understand what you said when you said it. You said, I made about 20 bands off of Safe Moon. Facts. Did you really do that? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. if <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that Yo, was easy. That's crazy. So, so, what's your thoughts on the cryptocurrency era now? It's right? it's it's dope. Um, you know, I hate the fact that we got so many now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. When it first was, you know, cracking off, you know, it wasn't but so many that people was jumping in, so you could really catch a wave, you know, um, mm-hmm. quite easily. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's so diverse, um, and there's so many people that's on it with the AI and. The, Oh, and yes, manipulating yes. the media. You know, yes. that's the part that gets tricky when they start man- manipulating the media and they start saying, Oh, that the touch is suspected to go up and boom, boom, boom. Dodge coin. And all yeah, that you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's usually the opposite of what the hell they say. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's all like the gotta, time. <laughs> yeah, but either way, it's still information that mm-hmm. you got to pay attention to. Yeah. And it makes it harder to gauge where the market could go. Okay. Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, mm. you know, but I, 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 I love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't I don't trade on crypto as much um now as I do currencies. Mm. I think currencies are a lot um easy. I do That's binary crazy. options trading. If y'all want to join my course, I can yeah, join I need, my course. Yeah, I, I gotta build with I you. On that. That. Yeah. That's why I asked. So <laughs> yeah. enlighten us in this room about that part of what you do. All right. So binary options is is the well, the way that I do it is is with two currencies. You take currencies in pairs. And pretty much it's very simple. Like people overcomplicate it. And the more you overcomplicate it, the harder it's going to get for you, I promise. Mm. Right. But in some aspects, you kind of got to do it to learn more. Mm-hmm. Right. But in any case, to start off as a beginner, 
um it's really you're just seeing the market do what it does everybody knows what a ticker does right yeah, it goes yeah, up and down up and down, and down. the yes, market uh, either goes two ways up or down mm -hmm. all you're doing is predicting whether the market is going to go up or down it's literally two buttons that you're going to be pushing <laughs> a green one that says <laughs> oh, up red, a red yeah. one that says down yeah. and then there's a timer right and that's the key part because you have to dictate at what time you oh, want wow. this to execute like a little yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to execute when yeah, it's going to uh. be up or down right mm. so if it's ticking boom 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 you say okay i think it's going to go up right and you do it at this point if uh -huh. it's going to it's going to fire it's going to toggle do its thing boom boom, boom wow. and, and it'll either go up or down Oh, okay, now okay. you can yeah, predict what the market is going to do based on what it did in the past. The the, the thing about the market is you want to jump in uh, the market at a certain time. And that's what I teach. I teach people how and when to jump in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not all mm -hmm. about just, um, you know, guessing. We don't guess. You can mm -hmm. literally predict what it's going to do, mm -hmm. you gotcha. know, and have an educated um, you know, mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you guess it off the news and like what they predicting? Like, you know, what I'm saying when they talking about certain stuff. Yeah. So that all depends on your time frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. How how what your time frame is going to be? So you can do stuff. You can what they call set it and leave it, where you just set it on and you uh, predict what it's going to do for the day, mm -hmm. or you know, however long period of time you want to do it for. Um, you can even do longer than that. Mm. Um. You know, when you're doing stuff like that, then it, it, it makes sense to do it. But if you're doing a short time frame between like 30 seconds to a minute. Oh, they do that minutes, too? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's how you make money quickly. I did right. 13 grand Damn. in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nah, let me drop a ball. I got it on video. I can Boy. Show you. That's the type of time I'm yeah, trying yeah, to right? do. I'm tired of giving. Oh, I'm tired of spending <laughs> yeah. all this time. Boy, watch me do it. Boy, yeah. You watch me do it. Like, yo, Word, it's, um, it's, it's very, very lucrative if you take the time. And I'm going to tell you how long it took me to, to learn it. And this is 100% fact. It took me two days. Two days? That's great. Two full days. Uh -huh. but I mean, full days. Literally, 48 I hours. sat at the computer. Something to drink, took a piss, coming back. <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't believe what was happening. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, it's, this is too good to be true. Like, it's going... It can't be this yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, and then once I got to a certain point, I'm like, I sat back and I'm like, so is this what these white motherfuckers mm -hmm. do? Yeah. All yeah. this time? Yeah. Facts. And this is how you get rich and stay word. rich. And we out here struggling. They playing the game we ain't playing. They not right. playing the game they we playing, bro. <laughs> yeah. What? We run, yeah. we run around hustling for our coins. They at home. What is we doing? No, we yeah. playing PS5. Facts. Boy. <laughs> and, so, and, so. Yeah. Distractions. Talk to them. <laughs> Distractions. Yeah. Word. It's yes. That's yeah. That too. That like, too. What, what if yeah. you just took That's some too. time? Like, what if we took... Just think about it. If you really invested a good three to four years in it, where could you be? Mm -hmm. If 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 you're doing this in a matter of months or days, right? Mm -hmm. Where you could you be if you really invest in the way you invest in anything else? Yeah. It's like you know what I'm going to dedicate, even if it's 15 minutes a day. Do you know if you do a ritual 15 minutes a day, anything, any practice, you are further off. You are you are better than 85 percent of the population of the planet. Mm -hmm. If you just do one task, fifteen minutes a day. I'm gonna add on to that. Mm. Yeah. Because I, I I work out. You know what I'm saying? I well, I work out from time to time. And what I used to do was work out too hard, and then you you can't work out the next day. Right? You know what I'm saying? You're not so what I do now is I do a little bit every day, like you said, and it, it takes like 15, 20 minutes. You know, I do two sets of push ups, two sets of pull ups, and then it's like you think you did nothing, but then you like the next day, next you like, day. you like, oh, like I, I really did. 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 Yeah, I really did. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine you doing that for a week. So I, I've been on it. Like I slacked off a couple of days because some, some days I feel like, you know what I mean? I'm just going to chill. Mm -hmm. But I've been on it like every day. Like that's my saying? exact regimen. Off, what you're saying is my exact regimen. Is exact, my lying lie? 15 yeah. minutes a day. That's all you need though. Yeah. Because that's mm -hmm. all the time. I I'm, I'm a father. So I got three kids, two in the house. I got a queen in the house. There's mm -hmm. a whole lot going on. I don't even have time to, to mm -hmm. allocate, you know, that much time into like a real gym practice. I'm in there for two hours a day. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to yeah. go back oh. again to, tonight yeah, at six. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right, right, I ain't right, got right, that right, 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 time. Right, right, you know what I mean? So yeah, right, right. I'm grinding. Yeah, so my little 15, boom. 15 minutes, yeah. Check. But it's got to be focused. You know what I'm saying? 
I've been getting stronger though. Fifteen yeah. minutes, you yeah. get stronger. Yeah. You see, yeah. I see the progression though, because with certain push-ups, damn it, with God certain, damn. <laughs> that's all you need. Bro. Yeah, yeah. nah, minutes. from there, two sets, bro, like two sets. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right there. That's, a that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's a jewel right nah, there. Nah, that's that's real talk. <laughs> Jay, you never shared the 15 minute theory with me, bro. You <laughs> sit here drinking. It took me. the god. It took the god for it to come out. <laughs> we sit here for two hours and drink. <laughs> Every Friday. Hey, I'm doing what I got to do. He ain't tell me the 15-minute part. No, you're still, you got it. You know what I mean? Come on, man. I ain't going to put that in the universe. But I'm out here struggling, man. That's nah, shout out to JLJ. I'm going to try that theory, man. Shout out uh -huh. to y'all, man. It works, bro. Man. Nah, I'm, I'm definitely on that. That, that just, we got something today, Tim. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, that, that's definitely a jewel. Because what I, what I learned mm -hmm. is you. Fast. That's right. Yeah, that's a fact. You thinking about the workout? Or write it. Or write the book. You thinking about the workout? It's not about the work about workout. It's about the consistency. The what consistency. he said. Consistency. Yeah. And you can't. That's the hardest thing. That and you sure can't do that if you really work hard, hard, and then you try to do it the next day. You are gonna be like, nah, I can't. I can't go to that. I, I gotta rest. Yeah. yeah so if you, you do just a little yep. bit, and it all adds up like the end of the week. So think about a month. Think mm -hmm. about two months, six months, and then mm -hmm. a year. Like you got all that stacked up, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, and we're working months. out. It has to be like. You got to focus Listen. on the muscle that you're trying to work. If you're doing something else and you're just doing the boom, it's not going to do what it needs to do. Because by the time when you start really working out and you get into the groove of it, you're going to be able to feel everything, every muscle, every twitch and what it's doing. So you got to be able to focus on the muscle, squeeze the muscle when it's when you when you push it out, all of that. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing it the right way, you just mm -hmm. wasting your time, time and waiting yeah. on it. You just yeah. an injury waiting to happen. Right. <laughs> you got <laughs> right. to be doing it correct with form and all of that. Yeah. Or you're playing yourself, yeah. especially if you're older. Oh, yeah. man. Yo, yeah. damn, we breezing through the time. God <laughs> damn. So look, <laughs> let me finish up this interview. So mm -hmm. I ask this to every artist that come through here, right? If you had a chance to work with one MC and one producer on your dream project, who would it be and why? <clears throat> Just one other artist and one producer on a dream project. Damn. Deep thought. We, we stumped, we, uh, I think <laughs> we only stumped one person on this. He couldn't, he couldn't answer it twice. He couldn't twice, answer right? it. First, I, I say... Um, Yasin Bay. Yasin Bay, word. You know, most. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh hmm. producer. This is gonna be interesting. <clears throat> oh man. <laughs> yeah, we got him. We got him. <laughs> I wanted to jump in. I said, nah, I ain't gonna say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say I ain't nothing. saying that. <laughs> I know, damn, it can never happen, though. Never, then, that's never. You got to put never it out in the universe, that. man. Well, unless that person is physically not here. Mm -hmm. Not here. Okay. You know, I would like Prince to produce my album. Ooh, Prince, wow. Prince. That's, ooh, that's different. Yeah, that's different. That's crazy. That would have been a that's fire different. ass album. Yeah. I'm thinking Dilla. I'm thinking <laughs> Mad Lib. I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Prince? Nah, nah, no, I didn't Prince, hear that yeah. story. Prince did it, yeah. He came in the studio and he asked him, have him, so he asked him well, something about the music. Like, I don't know. And he just went there and just played the tune on played the key. The trap was it's Snoop Dogg and Marv D. He did the little tunes on it. Fact. Get out of here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yo, talent is talent. Yeah, that's, right. that's, yeah. that's a fact. That's a fact. Anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. As long as it's rhythm, mm -hmm. I think, I think people slept on his like the production part, like the beats. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yes. yeah, he Fire. put them songs like, this yeah. beast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a yeah. composure, like the, the yeah, yeah, yes. come on, yeah, he's different. Sound like he's sound like if he's just in the studio. Whole fact, come on. yeah, 
Whole that fact. Super Bowl performance when it, in Purple Rain when yeah. it started mm-hmm. raining like <laughs> dude was summoned in the gods like, what, is we, what are we doing here <laughs> like yes produce my album bro yes. yeah. I want that type of shit you know what I'm saying when my yeah. joint come on yeah. shoot yeah. he had the skies falling mm-hmm. like yeah, what Word, man and to wrap this up man we do a little rapid fire from time to time man we just throw some questions at you one answer so 80s and 90s hip hop, 90s or 20, 2000, <laughs> no question. Above. 90s, just 90, 90s. I, I knew right. that answer. Rock him a cane. Oh, you know what? I didn't know that word. Cane, cane. Yeah, Ooh. I saw what I, 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 I saw what he can do. Mm. Woo. Oh, that's a good I answer. saw what he can do. Mm. No, <laughs> I'm going with cane. Oh, that sounds like a battle I'm right there. With, I saw what that means. <laughs> what? They're going to be arguing on the way home. Jay and I. Jay and Jay and And you ain't got a dog in the fight. You from, you from LI. <laughs> it ain't no Brooklyn Queens with you. But you did some work out in Brooklyn. I ain't going to hold you. I have to say Nas. 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 Yeah. Cryptocurrency or the stock market? Crypto. Paid in full of New Jack City. Mm. New Jack. <laughs> More important, the messenger or the message? Message. So what's next for you, man? And where can people go to support you and your movement, man? <clears throat> uh, next. I will be in Kemet from February the 15th to the 26th. Uh, find me on my Instagram. That's the only way you're going to be able to catch what's going on. I'll be dropping reels every day. I've been dropping reels every single day, a new song every day. I haven't even repeated a record for the last three weeks. Yes. So pay attention to the gram, yes, pay attention yes. to the Facebook. Um, the gram is at Jamar, J A M A A R. The uh, Facebook, of course, Jamar Milton. You mm-hmm. Just you know, you could just Google me. You'll be able to find me. I'm very easy to find. Um, check out my movie Nias. Um, check me in, in in that film. Um, what else we got going on, man? Um, Where can they find the film? Uh, the film is on Tubi and uh, Amazon. Um, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. it's on all of them now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the name of it again? Uh, it's called Neos and E U S. Yeah, right. um, check that out. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, that's 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 pretty much it, man. You know, I'm gonna rock out. I'm gonna just keep y'all, you know, mm-hmm. in tune to what's going on uh, visually mm-hmm. with me because I'm on the road, and, you know, and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And then mm-hmm. the new album will be dropping out. Uh, will be dropping probably while I'm in Kemet, if not, um, shortly after I come back, so I can really drive it towards y'all. Make sure mm-hmm. y'all get some. I got some gifts for y'all too. Um, oh, yeah, as a plug album, definitely get y'all that. No question, no you know question. Saying, right? and, um, definitely. Yeah, man. Um, you gotta get in that financial class too, Jay. We gonna, oh yeah, yeah, I'm in that. I'm in that. Yeah, 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 yeah we gonna definitely tap in. I'll on show y'all. Some stuff. you just gonna so, say Jay? I'm just saying because I know Jay. No, I'm. You know, we bringing you along. But I know Jay. Jay like this over there, like this. Jay like. Cause Jay been coming in here talking about it all. You know, he been, remember in the beginning of the show. Yeah, y'all been studying up. And, uh, yeah, I yeah. know when Jay heard it. Yeah, Jay definitely. Like, Ding. Like, okay, that bell, yeah. that bell went yeah. off. So, so <laughs> we on it. So, so you, yeah. know, you the first lady of the show, <laughs> baby. Mm-hmm. Heard I'm on up, it. man. I'm on it. So on that note, man, we want to thank Jamal for pulling up, man. Once wow. again, man, we appreciate you, man. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come build with us. The door is always open because should we breeze through? A, a cool 40 minutes, man. So I know when you come back from, you know, mm-hmm. your, your, your trip and everything that you're doing, man, I know you have a lot more to share That's with our mean. listeners and our viewers, man. So we appreciate you once again, man. Like Thank you, Pharrell. Word. Appreciate you, King. Word. Word, man. So on that note, we're going to take it to a DJ J.O.J. mini mix. When we come back, y'all know what time it is. It's time to peep game. Peep game, baby. Yeah, ready. <laughs> Shout out to J.O.J. for that throwback, man. He brought us back to the R-Cast days. <laughs> Steals the great Ollie Vegas and DJ J.O.J. Friday nights. Yes, you know sir. What I'm saying? You already know. More often than no off seasons, man. Word up, man. So, you know, we reached the part of our show where we let Sosa close us yeah. out with some peep yeah, game. I know I'll be on you know the internet saying? and I'll be Talk about seeing it. things and I'll be like, okay, you know what? Let's go, Sosa. What Good we got time. on the menu today? So, 
I saw a video. Okay. And actually, it wasn't a video. It was a woman. She had text. She had posted a text message between her and a guy. Okay. Basically, he was trying to line up the night, wanted to come <laughs> through and come check her. So okay. he was telling her like, "Yeah, um, I'm gonna come through, whatever." And and basically, he asked her, "What does she want to drink?" So she was like, "I'm cool on a drink, but you can bring me some diapers." And he was like, "Diapers." He was like, "No disrespect, but that's for your kid's dad to do." Wow. So she was like, "Well, you can bring me some alcohol, but you know, you like me, you can bring me alcohol, but you you can't bring me diapers." So he was like, "I just didn't feel like that was my, you know, place to do that. That was for the kid's dad to do." So she was like, "You know, basically, I'm good on you. You know, good night." So, as she should, but uh -oh. I want to know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I want to know, guys. <laughs> do you think that he was wrong for that? I'm gonna start with you. Still, we're gonna go around the room. Right. I think I think it was childish because at the end of the day, man, you buying a bottle. Bottle costs just as much as Pampers, man. At the end of the day, man, I, should be able to get it, both. It's something, anyway. yeah. I mean, I hate hey, man. Okay, but okay. You <laughs> come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You want some pussy? Yeah, hey, man. No, wait. Yeah, so, so. It ain't my turn. Nah, but I think it was a little childish, man. It's a grown man, man. Listen, man, it is what it is. If you check her for this person, you check her for you. She actually get a uh, some pampers instead of a bottle. Mm -hmm. She'd rather you not poison her. It's something to help the seed. Like, uh -huh. just get it. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't going to hurt you. Like, any way you put it, you, if you're looking at it as you're tricking and all of that, it's the, the father's responsibility. Hey man, you don't know what their dynamic is. That's not your concern. You ain't yeah. going over there thinking about the father. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You going over there thinking about us. So just get it, do your thing, and go about your business. I don't know, but that's just me. I, I like know. that. I like that. Okay. Okay, Mr. I don't Jamal. know. I hope I ain't a sucker for it, but listen, a bottle, how you feel about it? I was close. I'm I'm definitely leaning towards asking a lot of questions first <laughs> <laughs> before I engage. <laughs> um, you know, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a um, I'm no stranger to being a stepfather. Mm -hmm. I'm no stranger to water, fathering baby. other people's children. Mm -hmm. Um, and dating women who have children. There we go. Mm -hmm. And when that's going on, you have to know the dynamic of the father and the temperament of the father and what's going on in the relationship. Because, yeah, it's not your fault, but it can be your mistake mm -hmm. by you buying that. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and showing up to the house um, in the midst of their turmoil mm -hmm. and what's going on, because clearly if she's seeing you and she's not seeing him. There's mm -hmm. something wrong. So now you're showing up with something that normally he or her is supposed to do, and you don't know the dynamic. So now you show up with these diapers. <laughs> what if he's there and something's going on or he's oh, waiting God. because he was supposed to get the diapers, but she called you. So it all depends oh, on how God. this thing is laying out. Oh, See, oh, hey, when you from the hood, <laughs> Damn. huh? it's a lot. It's somebody uh -oh. in the dirt right now because uh -oh. all they did, huh? they either be in the dirt. Because <laughs> all he did was buy some huggies. Oh my yeah. God. Huh? He thought Man. it was sweet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you just got to think like that when you move in with somebody like you, you yeah. don't know. Because yeah. clearly you don't know. If, if you at that okay, point, I'm right? sure you Just know that's a deeper, cautious. a you way say, deeper he's right. it's a deep outlook look. on, and, and you're right, he's absolutely right about that. Okay, JOJ, first of all, he need to write some shows because that, <laughs> <better than power. laughs> that was better than power, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But me. I'm tricking, man. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's cheap. Oh, hold up. Think about it. It's that cheaper than taking them out to eat. You know what I'm saying? Spending oh my food. God. You wind up spending $300, you know what I'm saying, on drinks and food. So I'd rather good. spend that $100, a couple of dollars, <laughs> getting no pampers, some liquor. You want some weed too? Okay, let's go. No questions asked. Oh my no God. Wow, boy. I should have known. I should have yeah, known. Don't ask me no goddamn questions. <laughs> so what about you, sir? You want to you wanna, um, share your opinion? Oh, you want to turn your mic on? I'll tell you. Let's cut your mic on. Hey, man, hold on. Let me cut. Let me cut that I'm definitely asking questions because I'm in a place <laughs> where I've seen dudes who they like. For real. That's yeah, true. Playing games, not to say this one is playing games. Mm -hmm, just don't mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. But when you've seen certain things, you're privy to the situation. Mm -hmm. So I have to find out because I've seen dudes lay on a block somewhere and 
Mm -hmm. I didn't been in a car with my man wow. suspecting mm -hmm. I know she's mm -hmm. doing something and mm -hmm. the dude woke mm -hmm. up with a bag of grub. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And we hopped out and pit him through it just because mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. when I was younger though. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he unsuspecting. He just, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no way I'm going up <laughs> to no one situation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't see a problem. I can't leave the crib right next to the paper. It's not a problem. I get a bag of hundreds for you. That's, yeah, not yeah. The, that's not the issue. That's not the issue. The issue is me walking to your door. Door with him. <laughs> yeah, right. You, yeah. You, yeah. Right, you placing yourself oh, at the seat. <laughs> right. right. That's him. That's oh, the one. Oh, oh that's him. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yup. Oh no, my God! I know my crazy ass. Yeah. <laughs> I see that like, wait, hold yeah. on. And she not let me see my moment. Right, <laughs> right. Oh boy, let me. Let me talk to you a second. Let me holler at you that. real quick. <laughs> y'all are so right. But I love how y'all just yeah. made out a whole scenario. Yeah. 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 That's a scenario. No, yeah. and y'all are so right. So my my question is oh, shit. that y'all, you know, that was a big deal about the diaper. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so like what about what about and knowing that y'all what about no diapers? Y'all just coming through. Cause y'all cool with that. Y'all risking Same it all. Y'all risking it still. The only difference is you got diapers in your hand. Nah, that that takes it there. up a notch. That yeah. definitely still takes go, it up a notch. If his son is in that house, <laughs> that takes oh, it he up can gosh. still feel the same way without the diapers. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Why not just get the, the diapers? The diaper solidifies the task at hand. Like, I can walk That's in the and be like, yo. Right? Now, you know, you're suspecting your man out here tripping. You follow him somewhere. He hop out of the car, regular, walks into a female house. Oh, he hop out with a bag of roses. Is that oh, going to be God. Bad? Well, that's what niggas do. To, the <laughs> point, the <laughs> point <laughs> is, <laughs> no, the point is he's cheating. I don't give a fuck what he got. Now, if I seen his ass go to the ATM with her or the bank or some shit like that, but roses, all right, I, I expect a nigga to do that. You know, he's, he, the point is he's there. Fuck the roses. The point is he's there. He should not be. Now, so I just want to say, get back to y'all to turn this into something. All right. I said was, hey, like, damn, I'm a when dad nigga, duck. That nigga could still be in the bushes. Think about some ass. Even if you don't have diapers. <laughs> y'all are fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm a dad duck. When, I I was when, when I'm in a room full of men, God. this is usually how these, these conversations <laughs> <Hey. are out. laughs> They let me know I'm, I'm, got, I'm food. Yeah, nah, y'all are not wrong. By any means, y'all are not wrong. Y'all are not wrong. But, but I'm just saying, yeah. you're still risking it, whether you have That's the crazy. diapers or not. Definitely. That's a fact. With the diapers, because the big sucks. the box is all bright. You're like, hold on, <laughs> what's that? That nigga here? Oh shit, he got diapers. Oh, this I'm bitch playing with her and your kids from the from the look of it. Said, fuck oh, your daddy. Yeah. I'm your daddy now. I got the diapers. Some dudes don't yeah. care about the big mm -mm. They're like, all right, whatever. I know you doing you. Whatever. Yeah. Wait, hold on, you bringing papers from my <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a problem. Yeah, when yeah. it really shouldn't be. It should. It's fucking it's diapers. The kid needs diapers. He shits. Yeah, that shit yeah. don't mean. Mm -hmm. It means I don't want this boy shitting on this carpet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I need like diapers. That's a dynamic I can't that we don't think Some about. Some men sometimes. can be possessive like that, man. They yeah. just don't want that type of interaction at all. Some men don't even like a woman. No, ever. you're right. Y'all are so right about that, though. Yeah. So, okay. So, no diapers. <laughs> yeah, not bringing yeah. them. Yeah. No, no all I was trying to do was get some ass. I might end up in, in the coffin. Of, of okay, that, what if, real quick, right. what if, what if she need a babysitter? It's like two, like two fifty or something. What if, what if she needs a babysitter and oh, don't have God. the money for the babysitter, oh, but you want to take so, her out? So moving that goal, <laughs> folks. There you go. You, so, go. So, so you want the money for the babysitter? Yeah. Yeah. That's First easy. date. That ain't First date. Oh, first date? First nah, date? Get your stuff. Get it together. Yeah. Like, get your life together. Be like, <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not my no, I value. I have standards too. Like, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? That's like me showing up. Like, are you going to do that to me? Like, like let's flip, let's flip the scenario. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you. Every, I can't even, yo, seriously, I can't even be like, yo. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Let me, let me borrow $40. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's, why That's why I'm trying to go with it. That's why I'm trying to go with it. I know, I had two bitches. You know what I mean? Nah. Word, she in the group nah. chat like, girl, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she in the group chat on you, bro. I'm going to let him buy me something. 
<laughs> what? Stop playing. Because you know she told yeah. me for that she was going on a date. I'll, t- I'll let y'all know how it go. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, All right, let me know. God damn, boy. Yep. This big That's game hilarious. was it, man. Uh-huh. I tell y'all, I needed these laughs. I needed Damn. these laughs. Oh, my God. I'm crying. I had a dot over some peppers. That's what I'm saying. Save me my peppers. I am like crying. I'm tired waiting like this. We in, oh, my right God. Now. I am crying for real. Everything uh, is up. Now I ain't going to Terrace with no peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my people over at Terrace. They're not going to Terrace with no peppers. Word. Nah, Shout that's out hilarious. To the oh man, Word, man. my boy Randy, will God rest his soul, was from over there. Oh my god, I, I lived, in, I lived in uh, not Terrace, but um, Hampstead for six years. Yeah, he okay, was in okay, mm-hmm. that's what it is, man. Shout out to him. So, so you never let us down. No, nah, that <laughs> was that was hilarious. I found out tonight, I'd have sure probably been a dead man with some hot. <laughs> With some toddlers in your hands. Some, <laughs> <laughs> some overnights. <laughs> and look, and y'all like, in New York, they don't give you bags either. You oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> first street with it. You I'm, bully, I'm oh, coming down the block like Radio <laughs> Raheem. With the new one. Nah, that looks crazy. So nah, that looks crazy. 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 You ain't the daddy. That look crazy. You no, trying to put? You, know, <laughs> you getting jumped? Me you, know, you getting jumped out the nah, door? That oh looks crazy. God. Yeah, he's he's yeah, he's, 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 he's gonna wow you out for that one. That's that's definitely. I, he, oh, I just pictured God. the whole thing with bottle and the uh, bottle of the no bag, no bag. Yeah, yeah. Like radio ride. He's on tonight. He's like this, like this, like do the right thing. Love, love, love. Oh yeah, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, uh, that's man. funny. I ain't think about it I like that. I found out tonight I would have died in the scenario. <laughs> I failed myself. You gotta be careful in situations nah, like facts, that. You facts, know facts, what I'm saying? Like, like, what you have to do when dudes are quicker to just kill you. To pop. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. That's they're, true. Emotional, they'll, they'll, they'll go crazy. Mm-hmm, I know some. Mm-hmm, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm, they'll kill you mm-hmm, when they want mm-hmm, them real quick. Yeah. You're right. I know some too. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You're right. You're right. right. Really you right. don't want them, but if you do go narrow, it's going down. Yeah, yeah. We're going to wiggle. So even then, they. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And that that brought me back to when we had that segment when I was saying it seems like in our culture we own each other after even after the breakup after it didn't work out we'll stop somebody's happiness mm-hmm. because of our own human nature like other well, cultures they have conversations I, our culture. It's 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 human nature, like, I mean human you got nature. some I mean other they cultures that go nature. crazy they kill you know their all culture you're right but I feel like we really be on that only you better I've been in the kitchen because we in like, our reality you know what I'm saying so we're gonna let's see not that. talk about other cultures because yeah. 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 yeah 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 I see Facts. I see some joints from Morocco sure. when a when a when a woman cheats on a man oh, and the and the, the <laughs> dude's right. walking around with the woman's they head like it's you know different. Yeah, 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 it's different. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different. It's a whole different dynamic. Got to be recognized. You know what I mean? Facts. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> yeah, they Facts. cutting you up, slicing Facts. your body, hiding you in the freezer. It's a double standard. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, All right, man. So All right. Similar. Well, no diapers, guys. Yeah, no, diapers. <laughs> no, diapers. Yeah. no diapers. No diapers. Just yeah. or get a bag. God damn it. Kids, no get a diapers. bag. No, don't no. carry don't the let box. Girl trick you into bringing them. Just get a bag and put it in the bag. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now that's, that's genius. There you there go. There we go, world. There you go. Not an Uber sound. Like, I'm just Uber. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> now that would have been smooth if he did that. He would have been like, just order, order the package too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That would have been smooth. Yeah. He might have got some points if he would have did that. Yeah, boy, that was a good scenario right there. Man. <laughs> Word up, man. Girl, he was not playing right away. Uber eats, exactly. sent them, yeah. boom. No, Didn't even man. keep me waiting. Pampers That's was here scary, before man. him. Uh, that is the world we live in, man. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Man. Shout out to Sosa for that one. Another good one today. This that was week, another man. one. Heard of another one, man. Another scenario. Damn, Jay, I feel bad. I'll be dead out here. <laughs> <laughs> Word them up, man. Oh my god! Survive, survive, <laughs> survive four happy, plus happy decades. Happy go lucky too. <laughs> about to go down over some pampers. God over damn. some pampers. Word, word. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So on that Too note, funny. Man, yeah, yeah. Well, so back to that post, guys. Mm -hmm. He was on some, you know, he didn't even go any further. He just was like, once she said that, he was just like, hold on. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and she was like, That's a fact. And sometimes they don't know how to explain. And you know what? They don't want to throw it off, so they just say, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But in the back of their they mind, they're thinking they, about it. Right, but they don't know how to communicate it. Yeah. Yeah. Or don't feel it's worth it, either one. Yeah. It's like, yeah. At that moment, he's already double thinking. Yeah, female. he might like, be turned off. Yeah, right at that mm -hmm. moment, it's like, oh, that's fat. That's mm -hmm. like, I, don't feel like with that. I was just about to say because shit. I mean, maybe she she must just didn't have the money because she could have Uber eat home. I mean, Uber her own damn Pampers. She yeah, obviously we, didn't have the money, so it was more like. That's a fact. No nah, fact. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just want bread. You just want it all. Mm -hmm. So a lot of be a lot of misjudgment going on out mm -hmm. here because of what social media yeah. is pushing us and the, and the media is pushing us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful. Yeah, be fake. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Facts. Media. Facts. They live vicariously yeah. through those yeah. those yeah. those uh Shout very out to my true. God Daniel yeah. Gene. So he came in, we was like, yo, that's like you stuffing niggas in the laundry in the uh dryer in the laundry mat for likes and all that other stuff. So you're right. Yeah. That's a whole fact, man. But you know, yeah. we're gonna wrap today's show up, man. You know what I mean? Once mm -hmm. again, shout out to Jamal for pulling up on us today, man. Sure, sure. Great interview. Great Shared interview. a lot of jewels with us today. For sure. Definitely learn not. I'm not getting no pampers late on that. <laughs> not doing that. That's a shout job. out to Sosa for the question again. Just send her the money. Let her Uber them to her house. Shout out to DJ JOJ, man. Always bringing the, you know what I mean? A different perspective. You know what I mean? Jay going through phones. <laughs> he, he, he tricking. He don't Yeah, I'm crazy he with it. He going through phones and he tricking. He put that on record. Yeah, that was Two our last one. <laughs> Hurry up, man. You know <laughs> don't forget, no off-season on Bars and Hoops Radio every Friday, 8 to 10. You know what I'm saying? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Until next week. Peace. We are signing off. Peace. Peace.